Why not all space images as stars? I tried to answer this question in my last video which I made for the Veritasium contest, saying why there are no stars in the Apollo images. Now even though I did not win that contest, I did make it to the top 30 participant who had the most views, so it was still cool. So thank you everyone who did watch and shared and engaged with that video. But in today's video, we are going to go in much more detail and see all the factors that matter and why only some space images have stars and what we can you know, know about all these images. So let's start the game. Hello everyone and welcome to Astro Rocks. Being able to watch the stars with naked eyes versus taking pictures in which stars are visible. These both are two different things and we're gonna cover them one by one. So let's talk about watching the stars. If you take example of the Earth, like how we see stars from Earth, we only see them either if it's solar eclipse, which is very rare, or otherwise the more common is watching the stars in the nighttime. Now, still, even though we know that in the nighttime there are stars, not everybody is able to see the stars. Again, there are two things that come into play here. Either it's the monsoon that the weather is not good, there are way too many clouds in the sky, or else it could be because of some dust, like maybe ash from a volcano or some sand from something else is going on like that. So you will not be able to see the stars, even though they are visible to people who are, let's say, few kilometers away from you. So that can happen. And the other thing could be, if there is light pollution, again, if you live in a city, a metro city, if we take example of India, so from a place like Delhi, you will not be able to see many stars or maybe none at all some days because it's a city, there are too many lights and the sky is not even clear. So it's like a very pathetic place to when it comes to star gazing. Now, these are two things that come into play here that even from the Earth, we cannot always see the stars. Now let's go to space. Well, obviously I am not in space, but astronauts have gone to space, many of them. Some have gone to the moon or just to the International Space Station. Now these astronauts, some of them have said that they have never seen stars, especially the Apollo astronauts. And some of them have said that, yes, they have seen the stars. So what actually is going on? The sky is, uh a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. If you take example of the Apollo astronauts, they went to the moon when the sun was shining in the sky. Even though the sky is like completely black, they can see the sun there. Moon has no atmosphere, so it wasn't like bluish. Now, the problem is because it's very sunny and the surface of the moon is very reflective, their uh, clothes are reflective, the, uh, the lunar module, everything is very shiny and reflective. And the same phenomena they were experiencing, like how we experience here on Earth at, let's say, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., something like that, when it's afternoon. So will you be able to see if the brightness of your screen is very low. So this, you can treat your screen like a dim source of light. You will not be able to see. You'll have to go somewhere else to see it, or else you'll have to maybe close your eyes for um, 10 seconds and then you'll be able to see it. So it's very difficult to see. So the same thing happened with the astronauts on the moon too. They were not able to see the stars. So that does not mean that the stars were not there. The stars were there, but the sun was way too bright. So it doesn't actually has to do a lot with atmosphere that even if I just, uh, you know, do this and I say that the atmosphere of the Earth should disappear, that does not mean that I will start seeing the stars because the sun is again way too bright. So how did some of the astronauts on the moon saw the stars? Well, there are two ways to see. Either you are on the uh, farther side of the moon where the sun is not visible in the sky. So some astronauts have reported that they were able to see so many stars because there was nothing at all to, you know, let's say, wash away the stars. They could not even recognize the constellations. The stars were just so many in number. And these astronauts actually, they had like a very good group of all the constellations because they used to use them to navigate. But still, even they were not able to recognize the popular constellation because there was just so many stars. So astronauts have seen the stars. And then there is one more thing. I told you that uh, if you have to look on your phone, if you are outside, if it's sunny, then you might have to close your eyes and then maybe you will be able to adjust it. 
So this actually happened on the Apollo missions because, as I said, the astronauts have to use the stars as a navigation. They used a device which is known as sextant and what this device does is it looks at the position of the stars, it looks at the position of the earth and the moon, all these different things and to see this, they have to see the stars but it's daytime. So what did they do? They had a patch on their eyes, just like uh, pirates wear, and they used it, I think, for either several minutes or hours, and that is how they were able to see or use that sextant device from one eye, but their other eye, which was exposed to the bright sunlight, was not able to see. So that is how some astronauts can see and some astronauts cannot see the stars. And now let's talk about the photography. So even though we cannot see the stars, how can we capture the stars? Now that is a different thing. Now cameras are very different from how our eyes behave because our eyes do have certain things like uh, the pupil can dilate or it can shrink but we do not really have something like a shutter speed that we're able to see something for just one thousandth of a second or 30 seconds straight so that does not happen but still um, let's try to understand and relate it uh, with our eyes how these cameras actually work so let's start from here on earth itself how can you see the stars or how can you take pictures of these stars or do astrophotography well first of all again the stars should be visible, so not really cloudy or light polluted because then it will be very difficult to capture the stars. So if we are at a relatively dark place, uh, what we have to do is we have to keep in mind that if the moon is there, now moon is a bright big thing and stars are very faint. So whenever we capture images, we have to see what is bright, what is faint. Now because stars are faint, we need manual settings like the shutter speed, sh the camera, the time for which the camera should be open could be uh, like 10 seconds or even 30 seconds, not really more than that. And if we want to capture the image of the moon, the camera should be open for very less time. So just one tenth of a second or even one five hundredth or thousandth of a second can show us the details of the moon. The moon won't just appear, uh, appear as a circle which is white, but you can even see or capture the craters on the moon if you go to the settings like 1000th of a second and keep the exposure less as well. So ISO is um, less, just 800 or 200 or maybe even lower than that. You can just mess around with those settings and see what works for you from your location. When astronauts went to the moon, problem they have is like our smartphones are very advanced. But those people went to the moon, not, not in this time and age. The technology was different. The cameras were different. Now those cameras, because they have to you know, capture themselves and capture the uh, surface of the moon, the lunar surface, they were designed in a way that they are only going to work for um, the ex those specific exposure settings. So you will not be able if you somehow you know take the camera that the astronauts on the moon used and if you try to capture stars from that uh, camera from here on earth you will still not be able to see it because the problem is those cameras were not really that advanced they were made just for to do you know bright photography of taking images of the bright sources not necessarily the stars so that is why most of the astronauts were not able to see the stars when they were on the moon because it was sunny, nor their devices were able to capture the stars. But some of them were able to. And this actually happened in, uh, I think, Apollo 16. So those astronauts, they had taken a telescope to the uh, lunar surface and they used the telescope, they hid it in the shade of the lunar module so that it's in a dark place. And then they had, again, this camera had a very specific wavelength that it wanted to look into. So the camera was looking specifically into ultraviolet light and it could pick all the ultraviolet light. And then they pointed it towards the night sky and what they saw was so many stars, stars even fainter than what our eyes can see. So stars have been actually captured from the moon, but not necessarily how we imagined it. But they have been captured and they even captured earth now earth looks really bright not something uh, not like how we see in the visible light 
but we can see the aurora. And this was before the age of space telescopes. So not a lot of UV light passes through the atmosphere of Earth, but because Moon has no atmosphere, this telescope could capture and it could see how these uh, you know stars in UV are looking. So they the astronauts were actually doing astrophysics research. They're not just collecting uh, lunar samples, which were again very helpful in finding out uh, how. Uh, old the moon is, how did it form, what are the similarities between it. So they were also helpful in that, but they were also helping in astronomy and astrophysics and learning more about the stars before we had any way to send telescopes in space. Now coming to the last part of the video and taking all space images in general. So one thing we have to keep in mind um, is is the image old or is the image new because most probably if the image was old it was taken from a camera that did not have the capability to capture these stars now there are many there are like still more things related to why we may not be able to see the stars for example when we take or when we see an image of the um, Saturn we just see Saturn's and maybe it's moon, but not necessarily the background stars. Why? Because the image was taken in a mosaic and then, you know, we are just looking at Saturn in small, 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 small parts and not necessarily it's not a 16 or 30 second picture. So it was just taken in a different way. So we cannot see stars in that way because the camera was not pointing to that patch of sky. That's just black as it is. So there are many still small uh, ways how space images are taken and all these old um, cameras that were being sent on the missions they were not for long exposure they had some specifications. A camera has something which is known as its dynamic range so our smartphones have a very high dynamic range and newer and newer smartphones have that even more so if you try to capture an image from the hdr mode in your phone you will notice that it takes first of all a bit longer to capture this image and the image is neither too bright and neither too dark how does that happen because the camera captures two images one with the lower exposure settings and the higher exposure settings and then kind of superimposes both of them so we get a good result. So this is what our cameras can do but the cameras on the moon could not do that. So we have to understand this as well that those cameras were essentially very old and they did not have the same technology. But I'm hoping all the future missions that are, you know, either the astronauts that are going to the International Space Station, they do share images in which we can see the Earth, but in the nighttime. And we can even see the stars. Only capture stars if there is no other bright source of light to kind of overexpose the image. And what I was saying is I'm hoping that when uh, missions like the Artemis or even the Dear Moon, when these missions and these astronauts are going to the lunar surface, they will be able to capture the images from there with these new camera and new technology where they could very easily see that, okay, we are on the moon, this is the surface of the moon and this is how the stars are looking and this is me. Most probably they can do that because we can do this from here on Earth and they could replicate it if they relatively go to a darker side of the moon where it is uh, not that much shiny. So I hope now all of your questions have been answered when it comes to astrophotography and why only some space images have stars and not all of them. So let me know how, if you found this video helpful. I did not try to have a script for this one because there was just so much to talk about. So yeah. Like you can tell me which format do you prefer, like shorter videos or the longer ones. And I'm starting a new series soon, um, so which will have shorter videos. So you'll see more details when it's coming out. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Too many louds. Uh, there are too many lights.